people have found you guilty of 123 counts of first-degree murder and 123 counts of unauthorized travel to parallel universes. There's never been anything like what I have become. For these crimes, you have been sentenced to life without the possibility of return. Are you ready? Are you? Freeze! There's only one place he could be going. Not a problem. What if there was a killer traveling through parallel universes and he looked just like you? The good news is you're not crazy. The bad news. Before I saw him, I felt him. It was me. What if he would stop at nothing to take over your world? Each time he kills one of you, the energy divides among the survivors. He's close to you, lost strength. Maybe it's part of what's been going on with you. When people get older, Gabe, they don't get stronger, they don't get faster all of a sudden. If we kill him, this whole universe could go with him. I just need to do it one more time. No! This is the only way to stop him. My own design. Yeah, that'll work too. I'm nobody's bitch! <laughs> you are mine. I don't need to know you. You only need to know me. I will be the one! Cue the paparazzi. Yeah. 2001, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to look at me. 2001. Young D from Washington, D.C. He's going to the movies with one of his friends. Hey, man, what you trying to see? I don't know, man. But you know who fat? That girl, Beyonce. Ah, nigga, that ain't true. She ain't going to be nothing. Yeah, I know. Kelly going to wash that bitch. Wash? What does wash mean? Oh, yeah, it's 2001. All right. Anyway, yeah, man, she going to cook that bitch. Yeah, nigga. So, hey, man, you trying to see a movie? Yeah, let's see that Jack Chan movie. That's Jet Li. All right, they all the same, nigga. Whatever. Let's go, man. What? <laughs> An hour? Hold on. Two hours later. Yeah, man, that shit was that shit was all right, man. Yeah, yeah, that shit was cool, man. Yeah, I know it was cool when, you know, all that slowing down, uh, you know, like, what do you call it? They call it bullet town? Yeah, man, that was cool as hell. Oh, man, this shit is never going to get dated. Yeah, it won't. I like to say for the record, I think we've, <laughs> we, we, we've talked about this with Romeo when we did Romeo Must Die. 
how this is during that time where Jet Li was just on fire with the movies that he was coming out. Because it's like, he did Lethal Weapon 4, then he did Romeo, then he did The One, then he did Kiss the Dragon, then he did Hero, Cradle of the Grave, Unleashed, Fearless, oh my god. And then he did War, and that's when people just said, fuck you, Jet Li. Wait, see, oh. no, 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 no. see, this is where America messed up. America messed up by putting out War and not putting out the Warlords first. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Yes. Now, Warlords, that movie was godlike. Now, to Jet Li's credit, and I know we will probably talk about this, I will give credit that the Forbidden Kingdom helped them out a little bit. It helped them. It helped them. Yeah. And, then Help. he did, and then he did Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon, Emperor, and I'm like, Which huh. felt like an overglorified cameo appearance, but it was, our, it was a decent movie. Russell Wong got work. He did. You know, but still, I mean, just his, just the appearance of Jet Li, it just felt like an overglorified cameo. Yeah, but like the one I remember. Like, you know, I want to be honest with you, that's like a good twenty five percent of his catalog in America, anyway. Yeah, and I mean, well, to be fair, I mean, no it stuff could be that he's not stuff. starring in, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that war. I'm like, he yeah, had Jason Stan. I saw that movie, <laughs> the trailers. I was like, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be great, and I'm like. Dude, they wasted fucking Show Kasugi's son in that movie. I'm like, what? They wasted him. Ooh, they you, on, they you wasted. It. They wasted. That him, was like, the... They wasted him. And I'm looking at Devin Aoki like, so they just didn't want to call you back for. Uh, well, the, like that... they didn't want to call you back for Fast and Furious again, no, huh? No, that was her star-studded year that she did that illustrious movie that we will do, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. <laughs> 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 Which, that, yo, that the, the, movie. the best comic book, best video game movie ever. <laughs> Watch out, Detective Pikachu. Deal, Dead or Alive is coming for you. All right. Dude, you want... Look, look, look. Look, look. And you know what the best part about all of this is when it comes to Jet Li in America? This is not his worst movie in America. It really isn't. I mean, no, it's not. It really isn't. But, like, I like... I mean, I mean, I like the concept of the one because it's such a DC comic shit. If you really think yes, about the multiverse. Oh, DC Comics. This is a dark horse. This is dark horse as fuck. You hey, yes. no, no. I'm saying DC Comics because of the multiverse shit. That's, yeah, that's DC. DC's wheelhouse right there. Multiverse. This is definitely some DC stuff, right? This here. is a mix of both. And um and I like the fact that is he pretty much killed all these people and yet he's like, okay, that was 120 people, 123 people, uh, and now like that's it. Phoenix over here. <laughs> no, you want okay, here is my question. Just so you need to tell me, like, all right, you got, I, I got some theories. One, so you, like, one, there's supposed to be an infinite number of multiverses. Which or means as he universes. kills, he basically will become a but, god. But, but no, here's, but by the movie, by the movie's logic, mm-hmm. there only exists 120. 124 uh, universes. Well, 125. So you mean to tell me, so you mean to tell me, out of the multiverse of, of, like you say, infinite amount, you mean to tell me you only exist in 125 of them? That's, that's actually, hold on, hold on. That's actually an interesting logic because you got to realize that some people would never exist if one thing had happened or not. So that's actually that's a Pretty little number, though. But yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but like the whole concept of it, right? So it's the, Highlander. The yeah, whole concept is, of like, Highlander. The yeah, kicker, it's the, like kicker it's the Asian it. Highlander, <laughs> but with terrible CGI, Bruh. and just with bullet time that will and, and, and a soundtrack. That is basically so early two thousands and late nineties that you would just feel like, oh gosh, no, like, no, no. but like no, you listen to MTV like rock something. Hold up, dude, I like gotta that. stop you there. First of all, there was nothing late nineties about that soundtrack. This soundtrack was new metal as fuck. Let the uh, bodies no. hit the floor. Let the bodies. Oh like, Jesus Christ. Hold on. I know when he started when he was in a van. Don't look at me, the way it's to me. Throw your hands, I will shit. I, I was like, yo, yo. I used to listen to this fucking song. Drowning oh. pool. <laughs> like, look, Drowning Pool got hot off of this movie. Lincoln Park oh, has some man. tracks. Uh, we have Disturbed has some tracks. Got, like, yo, like everybody, disturbed, everybody the way. you can think I, of. How- Man, like Papa real. Roach got big off of this. Let's be honest here about Disturb. How much money did they get for that one song, Down with the Sickness? That thing is still. That's the only reason why they're making money. 
That's the only reason why they're making money now, because you know why? And this is coming from a dude that was a fan of them up until that whole, you know, Black Lives Matter terrorist type thing. Um, the reason the reason why is because every song they have ever fucking made sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> and now give it to me. <laughs> All of their songs. And I'm just gonna say this same. again. I was in the military. Fucking bodies hit the floor was used for every fucking military montage when it came to them shooting off bombs and shit. I was like, oh god, I got tired of that fucking song. After you like know the, why? You know, you know the it one thing. Hold on, hold on. It wasn't just the army that did it. WWE played the hell out of bombs. Hell yes. Oh you know what, the yes. Only, it's, it's kind of funny. There's one reason why I have a problem going back to listening to new metal. Number one, a lot of it got emo. And then this is could be where I'm at in life and the way I'm seeing shit. Good God, this is some white privilege <laughs> bullshit. The whining. Nobody's <laughs> talking to you. Who gives a shit? I mean, I, I think I think Lincoln Park no, is probably the only it's one. It's hard for really... me to go back to it. I mean, I no, hate yeah, that. It's, it's, I can go it's back to it. Hard, but, but you know what? Since uh, after, you know, and heck, even uh, Disturb actually moved up. They actually did the you know, Sounds of Silence, which is a cover, but that's pretty much their same thing, which that's all over the radio still. You know, yeah, because so, yeah. They, they're just, they're if, about... you need, if you need, they are the band that only lives off one song. That's what yeah, it is. They have the band that lives off one song. And if that one song is done, they'll get another hit song and write that for another two decades. That's what they are. They're, they're not doing nothing. They're not going to be doing nothing for the rest of their career. And it kills me because I'm like, ain't half of you niggas Jewish? Don't y'all understand how it feels to be a minority? Like, what the fuck? I mean, Lincoln like, Park I is the only one that came they out. They are Blue Lives Matter. They are so blue. That's what that song was for, um, Duke. It was for the policemen. Wow. Because there are so many policemen dying at the hands of, fuck you. Fuck oh, you. I'm God. sorry. No. Policemen, policemen. Officers are important to the structure of America. They're very important, important all that shit. But don't try to bounce that shit off like Black Lives Matter. Just go out and say, "Hey, we keep killing every fucking cop out there." There are more of them killing us than every. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! I hate that shit. That just. I didn't want to talk about that. Wow. I mean, but like new metal though, I think Linkin Park is the only one that kind of I can go back and still listen to their stuff. Linkin Park, Linkin Park, I can't. I love Linkin Park, and yes. I. I was telling I was telling this to my my wife uh, the other day because I'm getting like all like I'm making I'm a big ass library of music now and I'm, it's getting really good and I was like I didn't get Lincoln Park yet she's like why not because I'm gonna be real I can't listen to nothing I'm off a of hybrid theory hybrid theory I can't listen to nothing from it anymore I mean wait, the, uh, hold I on hold can't. on I got a question that is wait the, wait D let me a, D let me ask you this question D. let me ask you this question then D so. You can't listen to Hybrid Theory. What? Anime music videos ruined it for you? That too. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Well, you can't you listen, you can't in listen. the end, it's still a good song. But that's what I'm saying. You can't listen to reanimation? I mean, in, hold anime on. music videos in ruined the end. that album. Now, hold too. on. That's, that's interesting. I can probably listen to In the End because I love singing that so much. Uh, so, like, my December and paper cut and all the rest, I can't. I fucking can't no more. Reanimation is going to be interesting. I'm going to sit down and act. Actually listen to it and see what songs that's, I that's want off it. You know what I mean? That's I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give reanimation. The reanimation, the reanimation version of points of. A, I mean, sorry, reanimation version of. Uh, uh, what was it? Um, points of Authority is one yeah, of my jams. Of I don't know if I can listen to it again, but I love that version of reanimation. I mean, but yeah. like, so so the whole base of the one. Jet Li's character plays you law and essentially what he... the, hold, on, hold on, hold on, fuck that movie. I want to keep on talking about Lincoln Park. <laughs> nah, this is the podcast character... we're talking about the one. We his can have a Lincoln Park Yulaw. podcast later. His character is you law and he's... And he's he, nobody's he's, bitch. He, yeah, he's an interdimensional <laughs> cop who basically, after he killed one of his doppelgangers from another Earth, he figures out, like you said, if he kills the other ones, he could become kind of immortal, so to speak. So... Delroy Lindo and Jason Statham play two other cops that are basically trying to. Chase I think it's Jason them. Statham's like uh, debut role. I think no, no, because oh, he was no, in Lockstock. Lock, 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 oh, this Lock is his Lock third or fourth. It matters. It matters because I don't know what came out first. Did he do this Snatch or Snatch yeah, I think he did Snatch Oh yeah. Oh, it was uh, Lockstock. Uh, Lock yeah, Lockstock and Snatch. Yeah. 
Oh, he was yeah. in Ghost of Mars before. Yeah, Ghost this. of Mars before this one. Yeah, Which that's honestly, what I'm saying. I don't know was first. It's a step up that from means that. that but yeah. this was his U.S. This was his first U.S. US. movie, I can guess. Yeah. Say that. So U.S. movie wise, it was him. So it was him and Delroy Lindo. They're tracking down U. Law, and at this point in the movie, U. Law has killed his 123rd doppelganger, and at this point, lawless, 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 <laughs> and. I- the movie, and, the, and I like, I will say this, I appreciate the fact that this movie sets up you law shenanigans with his powers in the first opening scene. Because I guess apparently he's so quick, he pulls Quicksilver from the X-Men movie's powers where he just punches people in the air and they stay in the air while yeah, drowning in Yeah, yeah. He, okay, he so okay. He so, first this of all, movie... he is so strong. He is so strong that he can fight a group of people and slow down time at the same time. Yeah. So I got a question. I got a question, and this is not the. Actually, this is my wife's question. She still thinks that shit is cool as fuck. Is it, guys? Well, yes. sort of. Yeah. Hey, yes. It's good enough your wife for a Sonic yes. and, and such. It's good enough for anyone else. Drowning pool. We're let the body. You see bodies up in the air, and then he first, drop kicks one while it's in the air. I was like, well, that's fucking bad. First of all, like first of all, oh. I, first of all, the reason why I loved it is because I got to see Jet Li. Uh, freaking juggle combo Hank from Bra- <laughs> uh, from Breaking Bad. All right, exactly juggle and combo like but this. No, I'm like, apparently it's like both- something right out of like Tekken. But which, also- by the way, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Bro, yo, he yo, also no, has the hold speed up, of hold Flash, up. and he does, he does. No, all right, you know what? There's one star in the movie that we forgot to talk about. His name is Wire Foo. <laughs> we forgot. That wire foo exists in this movie. And as a person that actually kind of still likes wire foo, this one is like, wow. So y'all just did two takes and that was the best, right? Okay, cool. Whatever. I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> you law can basically, he has super strength. He can run very fast. But he's, yep. still, he's still susceptible to bullets, clearly, which I think that was actually cool because I thought for a second it would have been like one of those, they shoot him and he can heal quickly. Well, I was like, thank God. Well, oh my though, God. well, even though he has the life energy of 123 versions of himself, does it really matter? That might have been something that they could have touched on, but at this point in the film, they were like, eh, we don't need to go into it. Super strength. If he he if get he, hit by a car and he's knocked out, which I'm like, all right, cool. You saw him actually pick up a motorcycle with one hand and slam the cop with it. He killed and I love the fact that, that no is one... hilarious. <laughs> it is. And I love that the fact that... That is hilarious. Um, that no one really like, you know, there's no news or anything else about like, oh my gosh, this this person has been, you know, running like pretty much like he's like running fifty miles an hour and such. No one did like, like he's Sonic down a fucking road now, and shit. No. Now the thing I mean, is, it was two thousand one. I mean, if it was yeah. two thousand like, you know, two thousand seventeen or something, you you would I guarantee you that would be on like smartphones or something like that. I mean, it'll be on everywhere. That could probably be on World Star Hip Hop or something. That like, still will be on media takeout. You know it. Look at this chat. Like, it's run fast. Now, I did like when they showed, uh, when they were showing the different universes. We have, we had the current, yeah, we had the current universe where president, I mean, what was it, where Bush was president, but in the alternate universe, Gore was president. Because why not? Hold on. Not only was Bush president, but Bush <laughs> it made universal health care legal. <laughs> Clever Ironic, movie. Isn't that Clever right? movie. Clever. In that universe, Bush was a good fucking president. I oh you get points for that. Which I still you get you know points what? for that. You know what? That makes me wonder then. That makes me wonder the fact that they happened in that universe. I'm thinking to myself, that's not our universe. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, I, that's what I said too. But here's the other thing. I would have to imagine somebody going to our universe, like, my man, y'all got Donald Trump in y'all universe? Yeah, man, he the president, man. Like, yeah. Like, I like, like, like for real, that's fucked up, man. I'm glad he's about to get out of here. What do you mean he ain't about to get out of there? <laughs> what do you mean? He is president for life in my universe. Oh my God. Let me stay with you. Half of America is just a crater, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. I was and then, throw, I also sadly, throw, there's probably. I gotta, out, I gotta throw this out for y'all, which I think is hilarious. Did you like when they showed all of, like, all of uh, U Law's victims? Oh, the shitty ass wigs. They, yes, yeah. they all had shitty wigs. The Rastafarian you law. Yeah, Rastafarian and that sadly, in that Rastafarian universe, the Zack Snyder cut exist. So, there you go. <laughs> all the different universe, like all the different versions of you law. I like hilarious. blonde. 
I like blonde Jet Li. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, you mean, uh, uh-huh. oh, 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 you mean uh, gentrification Jet Li? Gentrification Jet Li. Gentrification or, law. Or gentrification, gentrification law or K-pop U law? Yeah, K-pop U law. I mean, oh, uh, gosh. Uh, oh, they had oh. uh, they had a uh, Counting Crows backup band member. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the one that he killed. Now that would have been an excellent movie. I don't know why they could have done that. I mean, the U law that he if, killed in the in his in the beginning of the movie at the beginning of this movie. You could tell he was evil, crime lord, you law, because he had a cut underneath his eye to symbolize that he's evil. Yeah. And he was bouncing his head like a psychopath because that's gently acting. That's <laughs> <laughs> gently acting. Well, I do like the nice touch to that you law. He kicked the fucking uh, prison bars and it bent so he knows that he has superpowers to an extent. He just wondered where like, yeah, he was coming like, from. Like, why did he keep, like, why was he keep getting stronger? Because he was down to like. The last mm-hmm. it was it was between him Gabriel and Gabe they were like the last three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. hey, you know what, Chris? That being said, we need an investigation for fucking Usain Bolt and LeBron James. We got to make sure they're not killing their doppelgangers because these niggas are getting stronger. This doesn't make no fucking sense, man. man LeBron, look at LeBron won his ring that year because he killed his doppelganger that stayed with Cleveland his whole career. Yeah. <laughs> he never took his talent to Miami. He stayed in Cleveland. <laughs> and actually got some championships. Yo, look, hey, hold on, hold on. We we like we say this on the podcast somewhere in America. Drake is listening to this. <laughs> he cuts it off. <laughs> Guys, they're picking me out. Oh my god, yeah, I know. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, you only killed like two of them, so first, you're not like that strong. Nobody's looking for you. First, like, like, hold on. First of all, that doesn't. I mean, matter. yeah. Like, first yeah, of all, that doesn't if, matter. If that was the, the case with Drake, his rhymes would like, be like that doesn't matter, but, and the reason why it doesn't matter is because. That was God's plan. Exactly. <laughs> shut up, Chris. Shut up, Harris. That's always going to be your joke with Drake. It is God's plan, though. <laughs> exactly. Now, you have to talk about the way these people travel through dimensions, because apparently it looks like it's a very painful process. Uh, yeah, that's painful when all of your atoms are getting ripped apart one by one to travel through this interdimensional wormhole. And all their stellar acting of them shaking right, their heads. I know, right, Harris? Chris, you saw that overacting. That looked like they were in pain. Yeah. No, no. And, like, I like ah. they, hold on. and I like when they end up in the universe that they're destined to go to. All their atoms are put right back together again. I'm like, God, that just looks painful. That looks painful. Like, and like it a looks ship like or something like a like a little ship there, like you know, drive there. I mean, like, heck. Put, put it this way: never be on the run. <laughs> You're yeah. gonna be stuck. Now, for now a here's good the thing. Minute. Now you and you laws in their dimension where he's there. Um, basically, uh, Car- Carly uh, G- um, Guguino. I think that's how you say say your name. Um, basically, she's you laws kind of like ride it out partner and stuff. And every dimension has her in it. So essentially, the remainder of the movie is you law trying to get at Gabe, and Gabe kind of being a Jackie Chan. I don't want to hurt anybody, but he's also practicing kind of like kata levels of like martial arts to show that he's a peaceful person. The thing with him, the thing with him in this movie is. First of all, Carla, that's his wife in one universe. Mm-hmm. In another universe, he's married to someone else. And in another universe, he's married to a man. Which he looked at Jason Statham like, hey, what you trying to say? I'm just saying. That's just how the universe works. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. In one of them, you a cabaret dancer. You got a problem with that? All right, then. Shit. <laughs> Shoot, man. Hey, you may, hey, you know what? Next one, man, you were, you know, you were actually get starring Captain America, but, you know. That didn't work out. Actually, in another universe, you team up with The Rock. In another universe, universe, you team up with The Rock. In another universe, you and Dolph Lundgren made a movie together. It's crazy. Made a buddy. No, no, no. no, Not just any movie. Not not just any movie, and I'm not referring to Expendables. You guys made a buddy cop movie together. (laughs) It was called Tag and Dash. It was actually hilarious. And here's the sad part, people. Here's the craziness. That actually, funny enough, Originally, the film was going to have um, the Rock, J- Dwayne Johnson, the main role. Yeah, he was going to actually star in this. I, rem- I remember, I remember what? About that. Yeah, he was going to. Yeah, the Rock was going to be the main character, but the Rock left the project and went to star in Scorpion King. Man, I think that I was mean, a, that's a boost uh, to his career, and it helped. It was a boost to his career. Eh, it worked. Yeah. You know, I mean, you that. I can't. I don't even have. I have no judgment on that. But like, here's what no, you would have. Right move. You would have Delroy Lindo and Jason Statham fighting The Rock, Skinny Rock. Yeah, yeah. This is not like the Big Rock we have now, but it would have been like. Well, 
Jason Statham already proved that him and The Rock, they could fight each other. But you would have had Skinny Rock, which I'm like, well, that would have been a pretty even fight. <laughs> which, I got to be real. Guaranteed, we would have caught, we would have got uh, numerous camera shots of him doing the rock bottom to Delroy Lindo and, and Statham. Let's talk about Delroy Lindo for a second. Um, hey, Delroy, you had no business trying to fight Jet Li. I'm sorry. He did not. First off, it was in the script. Second of all, I was scared that little motherfucker was going to kick me in my nuts the entire time. Yo, that was such a one-sided fucking fight. I was like, dog, was fight what are you, you doing? That was a fight to you? <laughs> I was like basically someone struggling to, you know, just like just to contain him for a couple. That was a seconds. baby. That was a baby pushing a van to Holyfield saying, come on. Yo, and I like how he fucking pulled the fucking Eobard thorn when when Delroy was like, all right, I'm going to transport us both back. And he fucking like, nope, speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He wasn't trying to transport him. Was he, he trying was, to blow him up? Yeah, he was trying to set off. He was trying to set off a bomb. Yeah, and he's like, oh, yeah. no, 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 not today, buddy. Nope. Not just not today. I'm going to run up. I'm going to stop you from doing that. And next snap. Yeah. I, yep. I mean, I like and how... I like the fact that he was like, you know, he was his partner, too. I'm like, dang, man. Well, former partner. But, yep. you know, yeah. that's how it is, you know. You know what the fun part was? Seeing in that universe, he's a, he works at a gas station. And I'm thinking, like, so just so happens he lives in Los Angeles in this universe. And y'all bumped into him. Whatever. Iron. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. multiverse, what I know. Well, I mean, <laughs> it was weird too because U Law is running wild to the point to where he kills fucking Gabe's wife in, in front of the cops to really frame it. Because again, I it, like that. the whole scene where that nigga was up in the attic and had me dying. Because when she figured out that wasn't him, she's like, You're, she had a gun. He was like, This, I'm going to come down there and I'm going to take the gun. So what I'm telling you, white bitch, <laughs> is just stop. And then she was about to shoot that. That nigga just slipped down there real quick. I was done. I like she did. She did. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah. I do like the fact that earlier in the movie she was actually speaking, I believe, uh, uh, the Chinese and yeah, such. I think that was Cantonese. But when she said that, my wife was like this. So you just butchered my language? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. gosh. Oh my god, now, man! Now something I did want to point out because we 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 got a chance to see mournful and depressed uh, Jet Li because he did just witness his wife being murdered in front of him. Now what I did like was how the was how uh, when he gave his little piece of uh, was his little piece of exposition to Jason Statham, I said congratulations, movie! You just gave us the end result of what, uh, I'm sorry, you just gave away Jet Li's happy ending. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, really, it's it, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like we get the sad and despondent. Like I said again, his character is so Jackie Chanish because he doesn't want to get into fights, but he knows how to fight. And I gotta be real, it, it, it's one of those epiphanies when you watch this movie. It's like, oh, so this movie is basically about the yin and yang. He's the light, and the dude's the darkness. Ah, I see what you did there, James Wong. All right, I got you. You know, <laughs> whatever. But I, I will admit, their final fight between those two was actually pretty good. I liked it. It was a solid fight. It was oh yeah, it was a really fight. good fight. And now, you know, it's the fight that I always that I always refer back to when I say, huh. You ever want to see somebody fight themselves in a movie and make it look good? Go to the one. You know who did it wrong? Yeah. <laughs> like, you want to know who did it wrong? Who? Tony Ja in Ong Bak 3. Mm. Who did he get as uh, a That's the name I had for a long while. Wow. I forgot who he got. Uh, all I know is that it was Tony Ja fighting Tony Ja. Here's a question for you guys. Because I don't want to do it. Are we going to really do Ong Bak 2 and 3? I really don't want to. Now, well, we gonna, you know what? Because no to. the second one is no point. The third one is really no point. Oh, uh, I feel like we have to. I don't know. You know, that's another podcast for another time. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to throw that out there. It was just kind of one of those things I was thinking about. It, it, it's it's one of those things that makes me want to walk up to a freaking uh, light stand and just kick it over like you or like Gabe did, and which brought out <laughs> freaking gas station attendant Delroy Lindo to say, "Hey, come on, man, check that shit." <laughs> this motherfucker. I like how State the walked up to was like, "I didn't get to tell you before you're gone how you made me." Oh, how you make me want to be more? Gosh. I, get to say that. <laughs> I just want to say thank you, sir. Oi. Thank you. Oh. Wait, <laughs> that's the best you can get. I'm Bullet. Like... 
And Del Ward being like, and Del and Del Ward being, and Del Ward being and like a Del Ward being as cool as ever. I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, I'm like, no, I called the cops you because your, that acting was terrible. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I guarantee the director is like, we took like thirty takes, and that was the best one. That was the best. You know what's the sad part movie. about this? James uh, James Wong, the director of this movie, um, he, he would movies. no longer he would no longer do um, theater mo- uh, movies that go to the movie theaters anymore. You know why? Because he directed Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh yeah, fuck him. But, but, but those who that did, but but there is always beauty on the other side of that rainbow. You see, he is one of the recurring directors on American uh, Horror Story. And on top of that, he's still doing a lot of TV direction. So you know what? You fail in one instance, and you do good in the other. And everybody, that's what I like to call not giving the fuck up. Can I? Can that's I what that I like to call. He did provide us one of the best movies of all time, Final Destination, because I got to be real, Homegirl Get Hit by the Bus, 17 years later, still is good. <laughs> yeah, still good. I don't know, man. Oh, he, was I mean, the, was he was the director it was of one, Final first Destination. Of all, first of all, it was one shot. It was simple. It was quick. And that was all you needed. Mm-hmm. Then, you know what, man? He came around. He came in a time where his direction was needed. Much like um, uh, m- music video directors of the um, not late 90s and 2000s, their vision was needed at that time. You didn't need to keep on going back to that well. You know what I mean? So he has his fucking mark. Sure, Dragon Ball Evolution is a piece of fucking shit. But you know what? He did something with his career, goddammit. I exactly. like that. Keep grinding, the- eventually you'll hit uh, you know, oil or something. Pay dirt, the bottom of the pussy hole, something, I don't know. But here's the kicker, though, too. Did y'all, like, now, did y'all ever watch the behind the scenes of this movie of how they did that final fight between the two? I don't remember seeing something like it, but I don't know if that was actually, like, the behind the yeah, scenes. I remember of, seeing something. Basically, it was a combination of green screen and also stunt doubles and certain shots to get that yeah. whole, like, because, I mean, now... I mean, shit, just now we we just got Captain America fighting Captain America in Endgame. And, I mean, I have to give credit to this movie of kind of basically making that actually happen. If you want to be real. Oh, yeah. No, 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 if you want no, to think that, a movie. It wasn't even this, hold on, hold on. Real quick. It wasn't even this movie that started it. Double Impact? Thank you. Thank you, CJ. Van actually, Damme, I won't even want to say that. You want himself, get... Van Damme fighting himself in Double Impact. That was a good one. Granted, yeah. it was a short scene. It was dark as hell. I know. But... <laughs> they had to go dark to make that shit work. But it no, worked. Say, look, look, y'all saying that. Y'all saying that. I can just see Dick Van Dyke like, I dance with a fucking penguin. <laughs> hey, Dick, go fuck yourself. How about that? <laughs> Fuck your green screen and fighting in ooh the Avengers. I danced with a goddamn penguin in 1960. Little kids shit themselves. It's like first off, Dick, I loved you in fucking Mary Poppins Returns. You were great. You were dancing your ass off, singing your ass off. But hey, it's the Avengers, dog. I mean, it's the Avengers. Come on, it's like come on. It's like Mary Poppins. No, made on. His money. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right where you say that, like it's the Avengers, dog. You know I met Steve Rogers in a gay bar in 19... Look, you would not! You would not! <laughs> you would not do this to me, sir. Chris, now I can imagine us just restraining Chris for beating the shit out of an old white man. I can just... <laughs> First off, sir, I wouldn't put hands on Dick Van Dyke, but I will cuss him out. <laughs> No, no, I no, no. You wouldn't want to. No, I just can imagine we're holding you. We're literally like, yo, Chris. It, no, man. Come on, man. No, Steve Rogers ain't a racist. He is a racist. Always been a racist. He's not. <laughs> Which I, I'll be honest with you, I will go along with that joke because it is kind of funny. I was like, hey, Steve. So, what do you think of the Civil Rights Act? Well, um, yeah, I really don't have nothing to say here. I was in Frozen and Ice, so I really wasn't around during that time. What do you think of black people? I mean, they're nice people. I have one black I mean, friend. Nice. <laughs> Director Nick Fury. Exactly. I, got, <laughs> I have one black friend. I got one. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't call um, uh, the Falcon. Oh, my gosh. My, my, my friendly Negro is here. Nah, that's out of character. You know. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> like hey, boy. <laughs> you know, the reason why I do it is one of the reasons why I don't like Anthony Mackie. Is because he didn't do what I would have did the first time Cap passed him. 
When Cat passed me in that little race, in the, when it was racing, I'm not even racing when they were doing laps and shit. Right there. Hate that white motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, this is why nineteen fifties good haircut ass. To be honest, with you, this is why this is why I want a U.S. agent just so we can get that conservative Captain America that's on like some diet racist shit where he's like, no, 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 no it'll be full, full blown. Like, wow, like U.S. agent, and you killed all those people. Yeah, I know. Now I'll teach them to abort babies. <laughs> <laughs> but you killed like five pregnant women. So they <laughs> all <laughs> say you know this is so. <laughs> yeah, so? Five, hold on, but you killed five pregnant women. They had it coming. If, no, no, right there, right there. You killed five pregnant women. If this gets prayer back into school, then yes. Oh no 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 wait wait D. There's an even better one. But you killed five pregnant women. They were communists. Can I be real? <laughs> Speaking of communists, yes. I'm pretty sure there was a U law. That that uh there was a there was a gate a law in the universe that you law killed that actually was a legit communist so that was like oh well palate cleanser we got him off the table here. <laughs> we got him off the table <laughs> got him off the table all right cool we had it we might have had a law that was racist so it's like hey got him off the table it's like come on I don't know I don't know what makes you think that this law that we got racist. ain't <laughs> oh what do you say what makes you think the law that we got there ain't racist. <laughs> He didn't show it, D. He didn't call me a nigga, all right? Come on. This is exactly. how it works. I love that. that again, that, the only one. again, again, and I will always bring highlight to that, Chris. I love how that's your line. Hey, blank, didn't call me a nigga, so therefore he's not. There are exceptions to this. It's still fuck Kevin Sorbo, all right? That's, that's all I'm saying. There, there are exceptions to the You know what? You know what? I'm flat. Look, nigga, we got we to gotta really hype ourselves up one year to actually talk to Kevin Sorbo. He better say yes. <laughs> He better say yeah. You know why? Because I'm saying it right now. If he say no to me, you are a racist. You are a racist. And that's sad. Because I think anybody that don't want to be called a racist will take that opportunity out, to D. go across the aisle watch out, D. and the, talk. Watch out, D. The five Kevin Sorbo fan, fan, the fandom is coming after us. Oh, you mean the Sorbo <laughs> Hive? Oh, God. The <laughs> Sorbo Hive. Sorbo Hive consisted of five What? Well, the, the, the same people who keep him in business by watching all those terrible Christian movies. Oh, my God. No, yes, yes. No. Why don't we just get a bunch of tweets? First off, you believe in Black Lives Matter. They're a terrorist group. Second of all, you need to stand up and, and you, you need to appreciate Kevin Sorbo. He loves America. I like that Kaepernick. It was just a bunch of those tweets. We, we can take that shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, but like I said, I have to imagine, you know, I, I would literally do a mini series for, for the one where we just take a look inside, deep dive into all the laws of the different universes. Like, that piece. blonde law, that blonde law, he was a real estate agent. I'm saying it now. He was, <laughs> he was a real, a real estate, estate agent. agent. He's sitting up there selling a house. He gets shot in the head by fucking you law. <laughs> Just imagine that shit. Oh, so this place right here is right here in Malibu. There's four bathrooms, five. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the one thing I liked about it is that he did the same plan he killed his like criminal counterpart and then he's like I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with my um, you know the one who's actually a sheriff or whatever I was yo that the same was wild too I was like yeah. he really did do the same plan I was like huh this is very I know that's just laziness here. or he's just like supposedly he's so smart He's like, I'm going to do the same thing twice because I'm just, you know. Well, I'm just, he has you the force, remember. though. He has the it's, force. Not even the, it's not even the force. you got to remember, each time the, each time, like, each time, any of them die in their respective universes, the life energy divides amongst the rest so of the survivors. So you can sense where they're at, basically. Something, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so and like, as their numbers dwindle down, which you got to think to yourself, God, how, how insignificant do you feel knowing that you are the last <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's be real, right? Uh, if we're talking about that final fight, that they did put that one shot. You remember from the trailers where the axe flies in the air, he grabs it with one hand. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, the money shot right there, my guys. That's the money shot. Because he thought, because he, because remember, there was that other theory that, huh, if it's only one left, some say, according to Del Roy Lindo, some say you explode, some say you implode. There's, oh, you're missing one. Some say you become a god. Shrug. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, shout outs to Jet Li using that all the time. 
I will become the one. I am the one. I will be the one. I am the one. Well, you are not the one. To also, <laughs> to also show that you law was evil when they fought, he took his shirt off and tied it around his waist. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Hey, my... Yeah. Because I'm Stop evil. for action, guys. Now, what made it funny is when they all get transported, right? I like how you law pulled what I would have pulled if I was evil. It yeah, was that guy. It's that him right there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I like how James I, I was like, nah, nigga, not today, bro. <laughs> nah. Like, and I know they only had yeah, like a certain win, amount man. of time. <laughs> like, I know they only had like a certain amount of time. Why they just instinctively listen to him? That's the shit that killed <laughs> me. Even a scene where they pull a gun out on both of them to see who's who's who. It was like, nah, we just gonna believe, take his word for it. It's him. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> that was hilarious, though. <laughs> but what was mm-hmm. what I, I did? I thought was interesting, and I, I think that's why you don't want you don't have to do a sequel. I like that gate that Jason Statham, they, they initially was going to transform back to his universe, and he was like, no, but he's going to go to jail. He's like, the fuck, the fuck does it matter to us? We'll keep a watch on him, but if you got to go to jail, you got to go to jail. Like, wait, I know where to well, send yeah. him. Yeah, and I like that he sent him to one of the U Lost world where it's perfect and clean, kind of like Demolition Man, essentially. Bruh, he sent them to the, no, I'm sorry, I'm going back to what I said earlier. He got sent back to the exposition universe. Yeah, and, and, and. <laughs> And he somehow managed to find a version of his wife that happens <laughs> Some, to be there. Somehow, that exposition, that whole story he dropped on Funch, he's, like, he just retained that. Like, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this for later. I'm just gonna put a pin in that and come back to it, like when the time, like when the script tells me to do so. Yeah. And what yeah, does he do? I mean, shoot, he transports script, but... him. He transports him to a, a much cleaner version of San Francisco. He finds his dog who had just got hit by a car. And he just happens to take him right in front of, of the vet, <laughs> where he meets his wife. And that's how he meets his wife in this universe. Happy ending. I like to call that the exposition slash con- like con- uh, slash plot convenience universe. Which I'm fine. He that deserved is... a happy ending. And yes, he did deserve it. Yeah, did. Now, you law, on the other hand, I actually would love to see how that whole plays out because as y'all most eloquently said at the beginning of the movie with his whole I'm Eula, I'm no one's bitch, uh, Eula apparently is on top of a fucking pyramid fighting every goddamn prisoner on the damn prison planet. Can I apparently say, he on, can got, I, and can I ask, Apparently he got trans... Can I ask you guys if anyone did this besides me? As the camera is zooming out, all of you had this on DVD. Did anybody attempt to zoom in further so you could see more of the action? Mm, not me. No, I was. No, like, I didn't good. have it on DVD. I, I, I guess I didn't. I had it on DVD, and I just like no. Nah, people okay. going up the up the up the pyramid. There was basically. a whole lot of that. A lot of rendering. There's a lot of. Rendering. I like how that prison planet is so just. Anarchist that they just allow the fighting to happen like fuck it love it's fight cons- it's consistently dark and lightning <laughs> only light that you get is the fucking ships <laughs> and I'm like so which you know actually, for you know a what? fact hey Chris you know for a fact that the warden has a patch a uh, patch over his eye <laughs> that dogs randomly attack them at any given time and they get fed. Literal, literal gruel, like just water and brown. Can I be real? I also <laughs> and, and, and there's probably some like secret fighting thing that they did the, the, the uh the more. Yes! Like, you know what I just exactly. You know what I He's just like, realized. You know I like this guy, this Yulo. Let's see, he can actually you, fight. You know what I just if realized? you if you we, beat all of them in a tournament, what, you will get your freedom. What I realized. <laughs> When you what? law was sent Dude. to the well, I, yeah, like when, I, first of all, when you law was sent to the Hades universe and you saw what the place looked like, I said to myself, "Huh?" So he got transported to Skynet headquarters, basically. Dude, I was man, look. You know what? I got one for years. I was like, so apparently he got um he got sent over to the Nether realm and. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where's Quan Chi? But here's my thing. Shut up. But here's my thing. Though. I what was interesting to me is. Let's say he escapes. Who's to say that prison planet isn't in another dimension? I don't even you know what they didn't explain it. I think that's the reason why. Well, no, it was in the eighties. Okay, so hey, yeah, so that's it's why his like, own universe. That's what I'm saying. Even if he escaped, it's like where the fuck are you gonna go, dog? Like you're stuck there. There ain't no transporting back there. It, it, that because that seemed like a one way trip. To be honest. Yeah, it did. yeah, it did, man. 
Oh my god. But because, uh, that no, was hold on, but because that, the movie but because the movie would dictate it, someone just happens to have that wristwatch slash portable time machine. You know that would happen. You know, you get that slow motion look at him looking at the camera and taking it. Yeah. Yeah. We know what's funny. You know, we we talked about James Wong. He actually did a show that I watched on Fox. It was called Space Above and Beyond. Uh, which, I never seen that. Yeah, it kinda came off like a uh what's what's the name of that show that came on TNT, that space show? Um, uh, shit. Nova? No, it was on TNT. Uh, it had I don't Sheridan, know. I don't know. Um, um, Sheridan in it. Um, shit. Uh, I, Babylon I, I don't 5. know. Oh, Babylon. Okay. Yeah, it came off like. What? Yeah, it, it came off like Fox's version of Babylon Five. It was very sci- science fiction and stuff. So that's why I was like, this is like James Wong using leftover ideas from Space Above and Beyond, and it worked more or less. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean. Yeah, this, this this movie actually is kind of shy under 90 minutes. Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't really, need to be longer. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, you, you know, you you know, if it was remade today, it would be like three hours long, and you'd be like, uh, okay. Two hours. Two hours, two hours for no goddamn nice. reason. I can also point out something else. Uh, you know how this movie would have been a whole lot shorter? How? You know the part where you lost stands, arms behind his back, he runs into Gabe and says... The good news is, you're not crazy. The bad news is, gunshot. Credits. Credits. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. Shoot him Credits. right in the head, and that's oh, it. Hold on, hold on, I got it. Credits. Oh, ah! Actually, wait, no. Hold on. Since we can't use... I don't want to use Never Surrender. Don't want to use... Uh, uh, what is it? The Streets of Siam. Mm. The touch. Nah, you you got the touch! Nah, nah, see, I would just use what they use in the movie, Godsmack Awake. Doom, 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 doom. (laughs) Doom, 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 doom. Yeah. It is new metal. Oh, gosh. This is... If you want to talk about, like, if you want to... This is the peak of new metal right here. It was. The yeah. one. 2001 was definitely the peak of new metal. That shit, that shit. We were graduating from high school. 2002, 01, 2000. Still alone! I mean... Like, new metal stood... I would say new metal managed to stand as long as it did. Like, it, 2000 and 2001 was, like, its peak years. And then right around 2005, that's when it just started to just I mean, tank. This was a good post-9-11 movie to watch. It was. <laughs> Came out on the second. Yeah. Hey. They hey, kill a lot. You want to know great? Is that you went to go see this just so you can get ready to play Metal Gear Solid 2? Actually. Because it came no. out that same month. Courtesy of one of our, our uh, uh, guys that we graduated with, Brian Caput. I saw this on the... Uh, Pristine uh, bootleg. VLC. VLC. <laughs> no, sorry, not VLC. VCD. They were, it was Dude, it was a oh. VCD. Okay, so here's the kicker, folks. Wow. When I saw this. Okay, so I saw Fast and the Furious on bootleg before I saw it in theaters. And I saw this before it hit theaters. The difference was they were DVD quality and everything. It was just missing the music. So it was like the it was like a uh, like the work print. Yeah, it was a work print version of both of those movies because it was. Wow, just, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, there weren't a lot of work prints floating around. At no, no, time no, no, too. no, no, no. Actually, CJ makes a really good point because I remember in my computer graphics class, I put together a DVD using the footage from that same work print. Yeah, yeah, like work prints, <laughs> work prints on Livewire <laughs> back in the day. You were able to access it pretty pretty good. So it was like I'm just yeah. sh- and, and and the thing is, it was just showing off. The magic of movies being on a disc. Yep. <laughs> I mean, and, and like, so it's, it was funny. It's watching, a movie on a CD. It was funny watching this movie and then watching it in theater where it was like the music in. I was like, this feels like when I was watching Street Fighter 2 and they put in all the American music in it. You know, that's what it felt like with the one. <laughs> like, I'm, like you're ex- you were expecting something. I mean, first of all, when you got a movie like that that was released by Sony... And Sony having that entire back catalog of music that they can pick. Yeah. Bro, they had they had plenty of fun with that movie. Yeah. Open the weekend yeah. though, this movie got beat out by Monsters Inc. No surprise. No, no surprise. Yeah. I mean, it ain't no it surprise. Came but, yeah, it was a number two and um it yeah, you know looks... grossed over forty three million. So yeah, it, it made, made its money, money back. I mean, but like from what I'm hearing, but you know, it made a lot of money on the DVD market because that's 
It had to. Oh, yeah, it most definitely, man. Yeah. This is during yeah, a lot prime of reviews, time of everybody getting DVDs. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and let me tell you, Rotten Tomatoes did not like it. No one liked it. Of course they didn't like it. It was like 14%. And such, but I, honestly, I think this is, a, is a, 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 a you know one of those you know, you know high action movies. You know, you pop it in, you have fun with it, and you move on. One of those, you know, the, to the point, it's one of those. It movies, really is. It's one of those movies that show up on Spike TV every Sunday. Yeah, just watch yeah. it. Oh, 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 the Spike Junior, um, El Ray Television and such. <laughs> That's or like, or when like, or when like sci- or, like, or when Sci-Fi is not feeling full of themselves when it's on Sci-Fi. No, it's not sci-fi, sir. It's Sifi. Sifi. Sifi, however you call it. <laughs> you guys are nerds for that. I'm standing about Y'all are nerds for that. It's Sifi, D! <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. It's not like that, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it for the one and stuff. Um, it's definitely... Yes, I, 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 actually, I probably will get this on Blu-ray if I can find it on Blu-ray. I believe it already is on Blu-ray. Yeah, so I definitely... Because yes. yes. I like how the cover is very... It looks like it looks like you lost getting snapped by Thanos and shit because he's like half disappearing and shit. No, that would have been I wonder if they still kept that cover. That cover, I, I ain't gonna lie, that cover did look a little. Dumb. I wanted that movie poster actually. Yeah, I gotta look and see if that actually is still around, so uh, I can see if this. But like right. I said, I like like I said, the concept of it was pretty good, and everybody played their part and stuff. So. Yep, it is. All right, cool. Cause now, <laughs> this thing is like ten bucks on Blu-ray at uh, Best Buy. Cool. Yeah. And on Amazon, it's like six bucks. So. Yeah, there you go. So definitely probably will try to copy and stuff. But um. Yep. Thank you for coming on, Duke. No problem, man. Fun. Yep. Duke, Duke is Duke always gets invited to the ones where I like. That's a bad movie. Duke has fun with that. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Be on the lookout, folks, because uh, we're gonna do Lakeisha. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Oh, oh, please yeah. let me be on. That's the next thing we're doing with Duke. Yeah, we're going to do Loki- uh, Lokeisha. Oh, I, oh, gosh. That that thing. Lokeisha. I, I, I'm like, oh. Oh, you lied with Lokeisha. Please. I, I got I, Oh, oh. I, have, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't uh, watched it yet. Right, so. You are going to explode when you see this. Because I saw it. <laughs> I don't care to see it. You just, just don't have anything sharp around. You might just... Crunch your computer. See, that's on your perspective, dude. Me, I just have my arms crossed like this shit ain't funny. You stood over there looking like Donald Trump in every meeting with his arms folded, like he's like pouting. Yeah, really, it's just like <laughs> shit ain't funny. What's where's the jokes? I don't know. Oh, so oh, uh, it's, it's just it just like I just looked and laughed and I just I didn't laugh. I was like this this day. I was at a laugh. I would just be crying or screaming of rage because oh. Oh, we'll, we'll get to it when it does, because trust me, uh, it will be like an airing of the grievances when that thing. You know what? Uh, um, the, um, it's going to be really interesting as we um, go on with Three Black Geeks, well, because a lot of it feels like we can cover a whole lot more. Of course we can't, because we're all in America. We can do different shows and all that shit. So a lot of shit uh, is going to be coming out on time, and a lot of shit is going to be like us doing different stuff at different moments, whatever have you. Because we just did it with um, we just kind of did it with um, Brightburn. We're going to do it with Loquisha. Lo- um, I see us doing it with uh, some other movies too. So it's going to be really interesting how we go forward with this. But I can tell you our next movie. Our next movie, Chris, join with me. Banana way, banana way, banana way, banana way. Actually, banana way, banana way. With you, it's very fitting because uh. One Mr. Mark DeCoscos was kicking ass in John Wick 3, so... So it's wonderful. So it's wonderful that we can finally talk about it. Getting another martial artist off our list. Of course we're going to talk about Jack, Jet Li. Jet Li is the fucking shit. When's, what's the next movie we're going to do with Jet Li? I don't know. We're probably going to do Legend or some shit. I'll figure it out. But the next movie will be only the strong. God damn it. Get your Eddie Gordo on. <laughs> 